Believe it or not, there are some fish out there that have lived for over a century, not like those goldfish. And get this, these long-lived swimmers aren't hanging out in some fancy aquarium or crystal clear ocean. Nope, they've been chilling in the middle of the desert, of all places. Just imagine the wisdom these fish must have. They're like the Yodas of the waters. These incredible fish are called buffalo fishes, and they're freshwater dwellers that have made their home right in the heart of Arizona. They've got a reputation for living crazy long lives, but here's the kicker. These fish don't just swim their way on their own. Nope, someone actually put them there over a century ago. Picture this, it's 1918 and the Roosevelt Dam is looking all shiny and new, but there's one crucial element missing, life. Some geniuses had the brilliant idea to populate the dam with these scaly buddies. But here's the thing about these particular fish, they're a stubborn and finicky bunch. They took one look at the Roosevelt Dam and went, nah, not feeling it. So what did they do? They decided to take a little road trip, or should we say river trip, and ended up settling down in Apache Lake, another dam in the middle of the Arizona desert. These fish were in love with their new home and they decided to make it their forever place. And when we say forever, we mean it. They've been living it up in Apache Lake for decades, and we're not just talking about their offspring or grandfish. No way. The very same fish that made that journey over 100 years ago are still happily swimming around, enjoying their desert paradise. How did those lab coat wearing folks even know the age of these fish? Do they have tiny fish IDs with their names and photos? No. The answer is even more mind blowing. Turns out, fish have a special ear bone that works like tree rings, adding layers as they age. So by examining these bones under a microscope, scientists can determine their age. It's like they carry their birthday candles inside their ears. But hold up, it seems like they do have a form of ID after all. To keep track of individual fish, scientists snap photos of the unique spot patterns on their backs, allowing them to follow their journeys over time. Thanks to these aquatic mugshots, they can trace back to the OG fish from Roosevelt's era. Now this isn't some miracle or proof that the fountain of youth is hiding in Arizona. No. Buffalo fishes are just built differently. They seem to have cracked the code on aging gracefully, getting better with time, like a fine wine. Speaking of a long life, what would help us extend ours is if you hit that like button on this video and subscribe to our channel. So come on, show us some love and give us that virtual elixir of youth. What about us humans? Who holds the record for the most candles on a birthday cake? That honor goes to Jeanne Calment, a French woman who blew out a whopping 122 candles. Coincidentally, two other women, Kane Tanaka and Sarah Knaus, also managed to surpass the 119-year mark. Currently, Maria Brañas from Spain is leading the pack at a sprightly 117 years young and counting. Ladies, you're killing it in the longevity game. The current record holder for the oldest man is Jiro Emon Kimura, who made it to 116. But there's one guy who supposedly shattered all the records and even made it into the Guinness Book. Henry Jenkins. Rumor has it that Henry managed to live a whopping 169 years in the 19th century. However, there's a catch. There's no official paperwork to back up this claim. Some folks are skeptical and think that maybe Henry's age got a little exaggerated. Just a bit. We'll probably never know the truth. Wouldn't it be awesome to have a magic crystal ball to peek into the past and fact check this stuff? I know it sounds like a fantasy movie plot, but there is a way to take a glimpse back in time. And it's all thanks to certain plants and animals. Disappointed? Don't be. Some of these creatures are practically identical to their ancestors from millions of years ago. Jellyfish, horseshoe crabs, and some sponges just look like their relatives from 500 million years back. How wild is that? But wait, it gets even cooler. Grab your microscope and take a gander at the cyanobacteria which you can find almost anywhere. These tiny organisms haven't changed one bit in over two billion years. Yes, a billion, with a B. While we investigate what enables buffalo fishes to live so long, let's adopt their way of life. Drinking plenty of water, avoiding too much sun exposure, going with the flow, and having a bad memory. Just look at Dory from Finding Nemo. Thanks to her forgetfulness, she's got to meet all sorts of cool creatures like sharks and even learn to speak whale. 